Hi guys, welcome back. And today is both a happy and a sad day. Because we are on our final episode of our Seleucid campaign in RTR Imperium Serectum. It's been a campaign that spanned over 10 months, guys. This campaign. And I thought it would be awesome if any of you guys who have been watching this campaign from the start or from wherever you started watching it, if you could comment down below your favorite moments from this campaign, I'll see if I can potentially, you know, make it into a video at some point, maybe. Um, something like that. A lot of editing will be required, but I'd really love it if you guys could comment down below your favorite moments, favorite episodes. Maybe it's an intro. Maybe it's a battle. Maybe it's something stupid I said. Very likely to be that, to be fair. Um, <laughs> or anything in between. Favorite commanders. All that sort of thing. Favorite king. We have had four kings, of course. And we will go through all that at the end. I may even do a... Um, a sort of review video at the end if we get the chance but we might as well have a look at the um, at the at the family tree if I can speak to start with because it, it is quite large now though <laughs> so we have to go all the way back so of course we were not Seleucus Nicator he was killed by Karaunos in when was that not 0 AD uh, but he was killed before the start of the game then our first ruler of course Antiochus Sota Antiochus the first, he was a good king, but he was old when we took him over. So he died peacefully in 260 BC, so only 20 turns into the game. And then we came down to Antiochus the Builder. Antiochus, who is now known as both the Builder and the Great. Our greatest king that we have had, so far anyway, in the campaign. He built our nation from instability and defeats into a very, very profitable, rich, and powerful empire in both Turkey and Egypt, destroying the Ptolemies pretty much single-handedly. So, and then we had Antiochus Zabinas, Antiochus the black sheep of the family, Antiochus the angry, Antiochus Thymomenos. Very, very many different names for him. He died at 69, nice, but also quite old. He died in 201 BC. And he was not loved by the people, but we've got to say he did some great things in his life, uh, starting the preparations for the invasion of Greece, which is what Diodotus did as his first act in the campaign and he is the nephew of Antiochus Zabinas direct line straight from Antiochus the builder he is the second son so we have kept that uh, thing up because and although Antiochus Sota is the firstborn son after that we went for the second son of everyone unfortunately Antiochus Zabinas didn't have a son that was legitimate so we had to go for a nephew and Diodotus was the favored nephew of those boys so, what a glorious line we've had, and I would love it if you guys could comment down below some of your favorite moments from the campaign. I'll see if I can do a video uh, of it at some point, which would be really cool. Indeed, we are just smashing through Greece, and we are going to play today until we have taken Thessalonica and Pella, and I've kind of, you know, decided that the campaign is over, that we have restored Alexander's empire. We don't need to destroy the Antigonids, that'll take forever. So, you know, we'll try and take as much of this land as possible in today's episode and see where we get to with a healthy dose of looking over our stats and toggle fog of war right at the end as well so we can see the full extent of our great empire. We are going to have to at least play four or five turns. Five turns at least. One, two, three, four, five. Because <laughs> we need to kill the Ptolemies as well. And if they don't die from that, I am teleporting an army there, guys, to kill them. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I, I'm going to do that. <laughs> I don't care. They need to die. <laughs> it's been too long. Ah, did we move that ship? Maybe. Okay, the GCS has come after us. What idiots? Why? Let's auto-resolve that. Should be a clear victory. Oh, smashed them. Nice. <laughs> the auto-resolve has been kind to us the last couple of episodes, so maybe it will come a bit mean. Uh, in these episodes. But I do want to also take those two Adrissian settlements there. The ones we started with 
at the start of the game because we want to kind of have a clean line all the way through here because if you look at maps of Alexander's Empire, it was pretty much all the way up to here, all the way around here, and across the strait here. And, you know, early in his empire, I believe early in his empire, this was part of it, but I think later on broke away, but I could be wrong. Uh, someone correct me on that, please. Uh, <laughs> so let's kill them. That was their faction leader as well. Absolute bastard. Kill him. Drag him through the streets and destroy him. Yes. Well, things got dark very quickly, didn't they? <laughs> uh, they don't even have a recruitment hub here. What's this? Temple of Poseidon? No. We don't like Poseidon. He's a pussy -o man. Right. You can actually get there, can you? Wow. Nice. The Idrisians as well. We have offered them peace. Like, we have offered them peace. But they have decided for war. <laughs> so, I guess this is what you get, uh, Idrisians. I can't believe we can actually get there. How can we get past that army? Okay, we, we, we can't. <laughs> and we can't do anything now either. Oh, no. They're probably going to take the settlement. What do they have? Not a huge deal. I wonder if we get the general here and just knock them back. Okay, was a victory. Okay, that's good. That has made them move. Good. We'll get you into there. Should be plenty happy now with a bit of a garrison. And we'll send the general. No, nope, not plenty happy, but okay. And we send the general back to Pergamon. Good. Fantastic. Right. You guys are going after Capsella. Right, let's have a look at our things first. We've got Auto Spawner has now upgraded. Oh my god. Really? All the way out there. Not really that worth it, is it? But anyway, look at the amount of kids we're having just because. I know I've said that so many times. Most advanced factions, thank you. We, we should be. <laughs> are you kidding me? <laughs> That's stupid. Not the Gete. It would have been interesting to actually fight the Gete, to be fair, because they, uh, they were a juicy, juicy little uh, enemy. Right. Let's go for Dion with this army. Let's not get stopped by the enemy, please. Okay. Let's get stopped by the enemy, please. Let's kill this guy. So left goes the just. Really? I don't think he's that just, man. This guy's come all the way from the uh, like the beginnings of Armenia <laughs> to be here. What a man. What a glorious, glorious man. Cataphract army, though. Still not managed to have a battle with them. They have been hiding away. Oh, my God. We can't even do that. Please tell me we can get away from the Antigonids. Please tell me we do not die on the ships here. We've spent so long trying to get this army into the fight. And even then, I feel like they are slower than walking that sh those ships. Which is kind of crazy, really. Right, we're going to go for Demetrius. And we'll probably go straight up there, if possible. Also, it would be quite nice to have some spies around here. Let's get a couple in there. These guys, in fact, let's go here and build a watchtower if we can. Ah, there's another settlement there. I didn't realize. I thought they, they wouldn't be just populated with like a couple of settlements. So, well, let's go for Faloria. Elephants, you need to get to the back of the army, please. Not the front. And unfortunately, none of these just have wooden walls. That would be awesome because we could just break them down. And that is Epirus there. So we are up to the border with Epirus. It says question mark, but... Got to be Epirus, right? Yeah, it's Epirus. Cool. That's good for us. What do we want to do with this army, then? I feel like we just keep marching, man. Just keep going. I know it's absolutely battered, but what's the point of stopping, you know? <laughs> We're going to have a cataract army on the way soon as well. We've also got this army in here we need to retrain. Let's retrain those boys. We can retrain everyone. Uh, let's get some high pastists. Uh, we do have close to enough for a second army as well now. Wow. When I say second, I mean like tenth. <laughs> this is obscene, man. We are absolutely dominating the Greeks. Uh, who would have thought it? 
all those turns ago when we were too scared to invade Greece because we thought it'd be too hard and a bit of a clusterfuck. But it turns out it is just the way it is, you know? They are they are fools who do not accept our glorious... Um, okay, we have to go around that way. Well, I don't really want to siege down Pella or Thessalonica with these boys because they are so damaged. Uh, but look at that. <laughs> I don't even need to do the splitting technique. It's not even worth it. When we've got all those full stacks. I mean, that army is actually a bit of a worry. Quite a bit of a worry. I feel like we would lose against that army unless we had some fantastic, fantastic, uh, battle map like we did previously. Uh, this poor Zadrakartan army... Get around there. Oh, there we go. We found a we found a settlement. Wow. It's been a while. <laughs> and whether we win or lose that battle against them is up to the auto resolver. <laughs> uh, right then. You boys, you're going straight for there. Good. So that looks like it's more of a it's a town. It's got stone walls, man. Okay. Well, whatever. Right, over in Armenia. Look, it's right. Egbertana is rioting. They are not happy. Right then, let's get going. And Dragoras the Conqueror. You're called the Conqueror, but you only got five command. Which is not great. I wonder what's the fastest way. So, what are we going to leave behind, though? How about 29 hoplites? <laughs> let's leave those boys behind. Still happy, but I'm going to... Oh, we got horse archers and Medigan cataphracts. Yes, please. It is on low. They aren't very happy. Armenia has, touch wood, been surprisingly docile. Let's get the Odeon over here. They, they don't seem to want to rebel or anything. Let's get you guys moving down that way. Hopefully we don't see any too, too many horrible armies. And there we go. Good. We've got a watchtower in there now, so we can actually see. This army just doesn't really need to leave. There's not really anywhere I would send it either. So, let's leave it for now. You guys are moving. Got the one army on the way to Pimelisa as well. So, let's have a look for that one. Because we don't want to leave any rebels. Oh, no. You actually have sieged down Pimelisa. Yep. 24. That was a... That was a really nice auto-resolve for us, to be fair. Wow. That was very, very kind. Maybe a bit too kind. <laughs> Let's go for that Temple of Hera. And you guys can go back in there next turn. And we will go. So, let's do our building. We've got 125k to go. And uh, looking at it, we've built quite a lot in the top few. So, let's go for Gabai. Over here, Great Agora. We're just going to go for a really expensive building, so we burn through our cash quickly, so we're not spending too much time doing the building. I mean, Alexandria Carmania having a dockyard, don't know whether that will even help, but we shall see, I guess. We shall see. Alexandria Ariana, all the way up here in the north, is in fact a large city now, and we got some good recruitment stuff there eventually. That area at the start of the campaign was an absolute nightmare to deal with. It was crazily bad. Really hard to deal with. So I'm so glad that we've managed to, uh, you know, deal with it. And make them, make them Greek, basically. And a, lot of, a large part of that is due to Bactria. And also, Parthia has now kind of, touch wood, <laughs> been subdued. Like, they haven't really... Um, they haven't rebelled and betrayed us for a long time. And there was that point when we were making them protectorate, they were betraying us, then they were offering protect protectorate like every two minutes. So <laughs> I don't know uh, I don't know what's going on with that, but yeah, pretty pretty good for us now. Let's get the large temple of Hera in Jerusalem, which is a huge city. We did have we do have now have twelve huge cities. I did count them before the start, and there's a couple already upgrading as well. So by the end we'll probably well, we'll still probably have 12, but it'll be more like, you know, 13, 14 eventually. And I think, honestly, in the Greek lands, we're going to have to just put mercenaries in these areas so that we can keep the pace up. 
I know the last few episodes we've been playing at a quite a quite a quick pace. So, you know, if you are struggling with blitzing and stuff like that, well, all you need to do is have 200 settlements and uh, have 20 armies. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. I hope hope it ha has helped a few of you blitz a little bit quicker. The reason why we can blitz in Greece so quickly is because, of course, it is our culture. That will not be the same in 0.6. So it's going to be a lot harder to blitz in 0.6. But obviously in 0.5, because this is Greek and we are Greek, these areas are not that unhappy. They have a bit of unrest from the conquest. Uh, and from the building culture penalty, because they are Western Hellenic, when we are Eastern Hellenic. Uh, yeah, Eastern Hellenism, there you can see. So, yeah, there is a little bit of unrest from that. But apart from that, uh, it's really, really good for us. Ah, so Atropatine. How are you feeling, buddy? Okay, you want to go? You want to come and have a go if you think you're hard enough? Well... Oh, they've got some Celts in this army as well. Gay Set Satai. I don't think I've seen those boys. I genuinely don't think I've se ever seen those boys before. We've also got Mercenary Thracians. Agima of the Peltasts. But overall, that army is battered and crap. So, <laughs> let's fight it and absolutely crush them. Did I say crush them? I meant marmalize them. <laughs> so again, we'll take a defensive position. Very nice army we've got here. I don't know where that second army's coming in from. Should have played paid more attention to that, but oh well. Uh these guys there. These guys there. Make sure these guys are not in that. Group these boys, get them over here. And group these boys. And this is a new general. I've not used this general ever before. What's his name? A Chaos. Uh, recruited directly from the old uh, uh, settlement. So, uh, a Chaos. Let's cause chaos, my friend. Right. Speed it up. Come on, Antigonids. I know you're a slug, but you can uh, slug a little bit faster than that, my friends. Let's do this then. If they're going to try and flank us on the right. Get those boys there. Uh, high pass this. Were we on four with those boys? Yep. Three. Let's go there. And here they come. No elephants in this army, but a little bit more infantry. So, it should be a bit easier to deal with some of these guys. These are all... Oh, yes. Come on. I love seeing that. These are all missile boyos, so we should be firing javelins at them. Oh, my God. <laughs> Poor guys. They did get marmalized, I've got to say. Here comes... Oh, a Thessalian Lancer. I love these boys. Remember the Sparta campaign, guys. These boys were fantastic for us. But they're going to get shredded by the Javis. Poor boys. Oh, dear. This army is so damaged. I do not know why... I do not know why they have decided to attack us. What dumbos. <laughs> Sounds like a three-year-old's insult, but whatever. I don't mind. Let's get around that way. And we'll use the cab on this side to marmalize them. Yes, we're using it now. Marmalization. Come on, boys. Yes, get them, get them, get them, get them, get them. Uh, high pastists. Let's bring you around this way. What is this? What is this pathetic little unit of Greek hoplites? What have we got here, then? They're so damaged. Why did they do this? Why you do this? We should have crushed them, surely. Wait, they still had loads left. And they killed a few of my men. I thought we would just run through them. Yeah, only none left now. <laughs> nice. Uh, like, I don't think we really need to do anything else. We are just absolutely crushing them. And we need to make sure we don't lose that guy. Their general is a Hippocontisti. Are you kidding me? Awful. Awful unit to have as your general. Well, we'll use a high pass this against these boys. Uh, we'll use these guys as well. If we can, get there.
They're going to go for the charge, are they? Nice. Yeah, you guys can just shoot these boys. Get in there. Let's try and kill them all. How many have we killed so far? 34% left. That's quite a lot. It's more than I would have wanted. So keep firing, men. Probably because of that hit back on this side, to be honest. Uh, well then, let's leave that. We don't care about that. What are you? A Phoebe's. <laughs> oh dear. Well, is there anyone here who's got some javies? You do. You boys? No. Let's kill the Phoebe's first. Uh, let's get round. Surround this old Agima. They are a very good unit, so we've got to be wary. Why did the Ephibis get given the generalship there? I have no clue. Well, you want to go kill them. You guys want to come and probably kill them as well. Go, go, go. Come on, Ephibis. Time for you to die. We should be good. Like, uh, the Hetai Roy are quite good in melee as well. They're not just good at, on the charge. That should be them running. Kill them all. Kill them all. You boys get up here. How many have we killed? There's only three left. Good. Get there. Right, guys. Well, I think... Don't think we're going to worry about the 304 for now. So, let's try and... Okay, here they come. Here they come. You guys get them. Go on, Cav. Let's go. Surely these guys are going to break when they're fully surrounded. All right, let's have a shot at the Thurio Fori. They're not even. They're not even routing. Lol. They've come back. They've come back. Come on, boys. Absolutely marmalized them. Good. Oh yes, we said it again. <laughs> Nice. There's not much left, is there? Well, let's make sure we kill that up. Oh, oh, look. looks like they might be dead. <laughs> well, let's exit the battle. We have already won. And yeah, that should be enough. Two men left in that one. Uh, we hardly lost anyone. Good, 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 good. 109 for those Agira speeders. Fantastic. Well, I will see you back on the campaign map, guys. Victory and glory. Enslave. We have conquered. Fantastic. Another settlement to add to our collection. It's Oh, looks like they abandoned the siege. Well done, Sarakis. Clever play. AI gonna AI, my friends. AI gonna AI. And at least we can see them if they come with a mega stack. Uh, but we've taken all the way up to the Caucasus now. Let me just consult. Oh, hello. Cheeky little sausage. Even though they had elephants. Oh, those elephants did some damage. Uh-oh. Right. So. Right. Uh, where were we? We're all the way all the way over here. Why does the map close when we do that? I swear I didn't close it. Right. Finally. This. Oh, looks like those elephant boys. Oh, because it was a battle uh, out against rebels they just died <laughs> good <laughs> nice noise 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 we've got nine of these boys lots of people have died okay stakra's not so happy asphali on the oh no he was he he made he made making i think it was a pantheon was it one gold coin what a man <laughs> what a man spies died down oh Okay. we Poor Spy, we left him out there for so long. Oh, I forgot to do this. <laughs> this time I think we might have to enslave. This is uh, Antiochus the Builder's original army, my friends. And it still exists to this day. And it's not even got that much gold experience, man. What the hell? Oh, no. <laughs> Glorious, though. Glorious. Glorious army. And now up to large city we go. Uh, and now Kratis. That's Oh, huge city. Spicy. And all of those. Agent found. Probably Antigonids. Yep. And Amicia. Oh, come on, Amicia. Stop being a bastard. 
Get it on daily games. We don't need the money anymore, do we? So it's fine. And then, where was the second one? Amisos, which is nearby. Oh, bastards as well. Oh, we don't have an Odeon here. That is not good. That is really not good. Let's get a spy and see whether that will improve. Uh, get rid of some of the unrest. Uh... I think they can do. If there's an enemy spy in there, they'll find the other spy and get rid, and that'll get rid of the unrest. But I could be wrong on that. Anywhere that's got a couple of garrisons, we can spare here. So let's send that one across. Uh, oh, we also do also have this full army here. So let's see if we can leave now, and we'll probably send these guys to. Th oh no. Uh, well, Ermias, looks like you're just chilling until you die in Pimelisa, my friend. It's a nice place, you know? It's a nice place. You got a sewer here. You got an academy and an execution square. You can watch some executions, you know? Have a bit of a good time. And, uh, yeah. Let's kill them. Sorry, Thracians. Your time to die, my friends. Your time to die. This is our settlement. And it was our settlement at the start, but we have come back to reclaim it. And looks like it just has exactly the same amount of problems as it did right at the start. And unfortunately, it's only a large town. Are you kidding? And we've got a full army in here. And that is the, uh, that is the happiness, is it? Is that all we have here? <laughs> oh, my God. Well, I'm glad we abandoned it at the start, honestly. Looking at that. Let's go around this way. Uh, yep. So we do want to take, you know, at least Pella and Thessalonica. Ideally, these areas as well. But looks like the Adrissians are kind of involved in that area too. Ah, we did take this one, didn't we? So let's get rid of that. A Chaos. What a man. Our new general. Trying to hear her in here. And we need now more governors. More Akontistais. Is this army all done? Fantastic. Alketas, the Conqueror, the Butcher, I think we should call him. Uh, you can go straight for Pellet. Look how slow you are, man. There must be something slowing you down. Oh, it's, I think it's because they were in a settlement. So when they're outside the settlement, they definitely do get a bit more, a bit better uh, speed, movement speed. Honestly, at this point, we don't need more armies. We just need more governors, more uh, Akontistai to govern these regions. But let's at least push you out. Wait. By yourself, you have an absolute obscene amount of movement. <laughs> a chaos, my friend. Right. Well, we don't need to put a, gov a guy in there, actually. Good. We'll also march up towards Pella. We might go for Thessalonica. We shall see. If they are... If they have any big armies left, very likely they're going to attack this army. So, let's get these battles out the way. 54 was the only amount we lost. Good. Let's go down to low. Get rid of that. We are on a roll now. It's just like autopilot right now. Absolutely smashing through them. They've hardly upgraded these places. Even though they are huge cities. So, Falaterra. Yeah, plenty happy enough still. So, how far can we walk now with you? Oh, actually, we cannot go all the way to Pella. But I think with you, we're going to go to Heraclea Lincestis. Oh, dear me. They've got nothing. I think those two big armies we've killed has just destroyed them. Like, they've got nothing left and they can't... They they cannot return to the same power that they once had. Poor guys. Poor, poor guys. Like, we don't even need these armies. I really don't even want them. Right, then. I do want to do a battle with you guys, though. This is... Oh. I don't want to use the ships to move you around anymore because you're so slow on the ship. I tell you what, let's kill the Ptolemies with this uh, this army. Let's finally destroy that army of the Ptolemies with this army. Uh, right, let's go down here. We do need to keep moving you, otherwise we're going to be screwed. I really don't want to fight that army. We might lose, you know, even if we fight it on the battle map. So, yeah. <laughs> that would not be funny. That would be terrible. They've got more elephants. Clear victory, though, still. 
and slave. Oh, dear me. These places are so, so unhappy. And they're only towns. Oh, dear. Like, how are you? You're okay now. But it's taken a long time to get these places happy. Like, this place, like, with no chance we're going to be able to leave here. Probably before the end of the game, to be fair. But, I mean, we've got further than Alexander. I think that's all we wanted to prove, really. Uh, we didn't take any of Arabia, but as we've seen down here, pointless. <laughs> pointless. The unrest is just way too high. Yes. You're, you guys, all of you have moved now. Now we go over here. Oh, there goes Atropatine. Go on, La. There's actually some of the land that we've had since the start, and they are going for a little cheeky attack. Fair play, Atropatine. I respect it. I respect that quite a bit. Fair play to you. Let's build a watchtower. Everything, Everyone's been crying out for watchtowers this whole campaign. And we wait until the last episode to actually build some. <laughs> Sorry, guys. <laughs> this is a fat army as well. That's quite a nice army, really. This army can just stay here in case they want to come back and try and take anything. You guys, mercenary men. Let's also get a watchtower in here. Yeah, we'll build some watchtowers now, guys. You know, we've got some money. <laughs> I just really haven't been thinking about it. Build another watchtower. 10 GP gold watchtowers when, man? Why does it say GP gold? But anyway. I mean, if you're a Max Verstappen fan, GP is gold. So, there. But, uh, yes. Right. Let's go down here. I'm not a Max Verstappen fan. I even think GP's gold, so fair enough that he is gold. Um, right. Do we have anyone else to move? I don't think so. Uh, the, oh, oh, yeah, this army. We, we can't move because they're incredibly upset. Culture penalty, distance of capital, unrest. Oh, dear. Oh, dearie me. Where did we get those spies, then? Okay, here. Let's come and have a cheeky look up here, then. Ah, uh, Thessalonica and Pella have a little bit of defense. <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> it's not much, is it? We've got this little bit over here, Cassandrea. We've got a few settlements to take still, but we've got, like, five armies on the march, so... Yeah. You guys get there. Well, uh, whatever. Uh, yeah, we'll start having to just get some mercenaries to take these places. But, oh my god, we have pummeled Greece. Greece is, is just reeling. I mean, ultimately, if we did want to take Alexander's Empire, we should have taken Kyrene as well. But I do believe that they are they're either our ally or prot protectorate. I think they're our ally. But... I don't know. They've never betrayed us. Not yet. <laughs> and we've never betrayed them. So we'll just claim that they're our protectorate. Same with Parthia. Parthia are actually our protectorate. I think they are because we can see their land. I don't think you can see the land of your normal allies. I feel like they're... Up. I don't know. Maybe you can. I don't know. Interesting. Maybe I'm just being dumb. I could be being dumb. That's very, very likely. So let's press the end turn again. Oh, we forgot to build. Oh, well, I'll do the building off screen um, next turn. Once we've moved the old armies. Oh, hello, Antigonids. Come and have a go if you think you're hard enough. And it's clear that you are not hard enough. You are clearly very far away from being hard enough. Oh, GCS. You really do make me tired. <laughs> Cheers, GCS. You idiots. Oh, goddamn. Oh, what an insult, man. <laughs> oh, hello. Nice to see you to see you. What is that army? Oh, it's an absolute shit-munching army. Oh, come on. That's got to be... Average victory. I mean, I'll take that. Praise Ares. Praise Ares, exactly. I mean, do we even want to take this settlement? Because it's absolutely screwed. Like, it's terrible. It's only a town. It's never going to upgrade, especially if we... Clear defeat! What? What? They got 0%. But... Oh, well, we'll be happy with Berenike, uh, Berenike over here. It's like the Ninth Legion, guys. 
they, that's just our story. The, you know, our our Antiochus the Builder's army went to find faraway riches, and were lost in the hills. That that's the story we're going to tell ourselves and our children. Um, unfortunately, hopefully this this army doesn't get killed in the hills. That would be bad. So yeah. I would like to... If I had an assassin, I would definitely be sabotaging the hell out of those boys now. Right. Do we have any... Okay, we've got more civil... Oh, God. Everywhere now. Uh, okay, well, this one is, is understandable. Um, what can we do about this? 80% oh, distance to capital. Wow. Really? That looks about the same distance on the map as it is to there. Hmm. Might just have to uh, take it back and exterminate it. Uh, yeah, Kipsella actually up to 65% now. So it should be happy next turn. Should be. That's the main thing. <laughs> should be. And Anisopolis. Surely we've got an Odeon here. Yeah, fine. Good. Let's also build the aqueduct there. That'll make them a bit happier. Right, let's get moving and moving and moving. Where did the Ptolemies go? Oh, they're over here. Good. So we'll retreat from this as normal and move all the rest of the armies first so we remember things. Because if I do that battle, then I will completely forget where we are and get very lost. <laughs> and go over everything again, which is not enjoyable for you guys. How do we keep losing most advanced faction status? Redonkulous. Redonkulous. Oh, hello, Epirus. Oh, Epirus is helping us with a... Koinos the Handsome. What a man. Thank you, my friend. We lost n zero men. <laughs> Epirus has Lick Nidos over here. All right, let's do all these battles. Bang. Hopefully we have another big battle before the end of the... Uh, well, we're going to fight the Cataphract battle, aren't we? So that should be quite good. Uh, we got you. Well, let's get you straight up to Pella. That should be a big battle. Maybe we'll have a big siege of Pella as the final battle. That would be kind of cool. One final last hurrah, my friends. 102, man. We are losing quite a lot of men in these auto-resolves. Never auto-resolve, guys. <laughs> Kill them. Yeah, we're just leaving the settlement, like... Like, we are properly blitzing now. Is that a faction leader? He's got a lot of command. Come on, game. Please don't crash for me now. Okay. Yeah, it is a faction leader. Okay, they didn't die. Oh, you bastard! You bastard! We're going to have to walk all the way around here. We've probably blocked off Epirus as well, which... Sorry, Epirus, but... It's unfortunate. Right, you guys get in there. Come on. <laughs> you guys get up there. And let's see, is there anywhere? So these guys, let's recruit a few mercenaries with Zoilos. Might give him a guy's retinue as well. Zoilos has been kind of legendary as well now, I've got to say. What a man. Uh, I mean, they're all very good mercenaries. That's the problem. <laughs> Let's just get some of those. I know they're very expensive, but it doesn't matter at this point, does it? But, uh, yeah, this this campaign has been very fun. I, I'm i sorry it's been so quick in the last couple of episodes. Uh, come on, shift. There we go. Let's get in there. Uh, you go there, and we go here. Good. So, yeah, I'm sorry it's been so quick, but like I say, the update is coming out literally in a few hours. So, I, I need to do this as quick as possible. Um, looks like the Thurio 4 I disappeared. Oh, we got the disappearing act. No, don't break. Okay, that was that's not too bad. As long as Zoilus and the army survive, looks like we're going to be okay. Okay, this army now has some serious movement. We go straight for Stoby. We have just absolutely powered through the Antigonids, haven't we? Like I say, I think they they, they they had those couple of armies. Oh, this is wooden walls. So, goodbye. 
<laughs> we could keep on going, man. <laughs> I feel dirty keeping on going, to be honest, in this situation. Uh, oh, we did get the mercenary Cretan archers, right? They get both. Where did I send the Cretan archers? Oh, down here. Uh, what else have we got going on? You're moving there. Well, you guys can definitely keep moving as well. Like I say, we, we just get mercenaries. Just keep on going and just power through. I thought this episode would take, like, forever. <laughs> I thought we'd be here for, like, three or four hours to do this, guys. <laughs> <laughs> but mm, it doesn't seem like it, does it, at the minute? I'm not going to lie. I mean, something could happen. We could get set back somewhere, but I, I genuinely... I think the Antigonids are just done. Like, it just seems to me like they are fully just done. I'd be, I, I wouldn't even be surprised if we fully destroyed them. Rather than just taking, you know, some of these settlements. Well, let's keep going. <laughs> this is ridiculous! I've never felt... I've never felt such power in my hands, my friends. These armies are just obscene. These armies are grotesque. Grotesque creations of the Seleucids. Oh, and the Seleucids are just so... Like, their late-game roster is so powerful. The one big regret I have with this campaign is just the fact that we didn't manage to actually... Um, fight the Romans. Because imagine there's a Gira Speedes armies versus a Roman armies. That would have been so fun. Because they probably would have been a bit of a match. You get in there. I do worry that Epirus will attack us or the RDAI. But like I say, I, I, I'm not worried about those guys. They are not part of Alexander's empire. Let me just check, actually, on that. I've got a picture of it up here. So... Yeah, Epirus and the uh, RDAI, no, definitely not part of Alexander's empire. I think Thrace was kind of like a, a client, was it client kingdom or state as well? So, wasn't even like, we don't need to take all of Thrace. They did definitely have all the way up into this basin up here in sort of uh, northern Greece or north, what we would call modern day North Macedonia. Um, so, they definitely had all the way up here. So, it is good to take all of these settlements. In fact, no, we can't move that army anymore. That one has been pretty much expended. So, are we building there? We are. Let's just check. We're building everywhere. Let's destroy that. Let's queue in more sewers. Like, they really haven't upgraded much either. I feel kind of bad for them. I honestly feel kind of bad for them. I feel like they will attack us here at Pella as well, which is embarrassing for them. Uh, let's go for that. Yeah, they don't even have a recruitment hub there. What is going on, man? Why have you not... All of these... Like, if, if it's a Cuban player, all of these would be huge cities by now. I know there's a lot of large cities, so I can't really give them too much shtick. Right, let's come this way. And hopefully we'll have taken, taken that settlement next turn. And we'll be able to move Alketas the Handsome or... If you want a better name, I'll get us the Butcher. <laughs> so let's just make sure all our armies are accounted for. Four there. Where's the fifth? We did have five. Fifth? Uh, oh, no, here. Here it's not uh, not moved. Right, we've got that one finally as well. And everyone else moved? No. Let's make sure we move everyone else that we need to then. And we can destroy Armenia. He, not Armenia. Atropatine here. Let's do that. And hopefully they don't siege us down. They were out there looking to siege us down. I'm surprised they didn't have more troops. They've just been chilling. I feel kind of bad now. <laughs> Genuinely feel a little bit bad. They've literally just been chilling. And we have just come along and absolutely hosed them. <laughs> Poor guys. Poor guys. We didn't want the green stain on our nation. It's their fault. They took Ekbatana when... If they'd have left Ekbatana alone, then I wouldn't have done this to them. I probably would have just left them as a little protectorate in the middle of our nation. But because they took Ekbatana when it rebelled against us, they must die. <laughs> it is sad that that army has died as such an inglorious death over here against rebels in the middle of the desert. <laughs> Searching for gold. That's what we're calling ourselves. Look at the trade all down the coast here. Fantastic. 
And the Isle of Heroes, our glorious Isle of Heroes, over there. No one else were moving around this way, are we? No, I don't think so. I think that's all good. And, of course, there is an army stuck up here, but what can you do? Nothing for them to do now. They'd have to march a long way or go all the way up here to really do anything. So, yeah, not really much we can do there, is there? Still incredibly upset. These guys are okay. We've got so many troops in here. There's not really anything else we can do to quell that public order issues. Uh, yeah. Right, guys. I will do the building then off camera. And yeah, I will see you when I press the end turn. Right, guys. Let's smash that end turn again. And let's see how many settlements we can take next turn. Because we took about bloody 50 this turn. <laughs> So many settlements. Oh, well, Misos wasn't actually rioting that turn. Wow. Cool. Ah, keep on blockading my ports, man. It's not going to save you, bro. <laughs> oh, dear Antigonids. Oh, shit. Forgot about the bloody Ptolemies. Not the Ptolemies, no. Oh, dearie, dearie, dearie me. I think, you know, if we keep up this pace... Are we going to take out the Antigonids? <laughs> Ambitious, I know, but it might happen. If Epirus declares war on us, though, that kind of just really does uh, break a lot of what we want to do. Enslave. And they've got... What the hell, Antigonids? Why do you have this land up here, man? Dardania. You imbeciles. Silly land to take. I mean, we should go for it. <laughs> uh, what do we have here? Thracian Peltast. Perfect. You get in there now. Uh, we'll send the other little army to go there. There were that really damaged one. These boys get in there. Should still be happy, I hope. Let's look at our notifications first before we get to... I'm just getting too excited. This is just brutal. <laughs> right. Let's, they've got a nice watchtower there. I do like that. Well done. Score Disky there, I'm assuming. Yeah. Where be Dardania? There it is. <laughs> Imagine they just had like a load of settlements up here. That would be so annoying. <laughs> but that's definitely further than Alexander's empire went. This is about where it went to. Up to these two settlements here. So let's... Go. First of all, let's do the same. Let's get a... Well, actually... Hmm. Should do that battle. Let's get these guys around like this. Let's do that. Uh, yeah, that is, that is a big siege. <laughs> Prefer you. No, don't go this way, you dickhead. Oh. Well, it's a very big siege now. <laughs> right, let's get here. I said I was going to look at the notifications. Goddamn ADHD, man. Oh, I'm getting too distracted by everything. It's fun, though. It's fun. Uh, don't go there. Uh, also, we need to make sure we... Sort Stoby out because we haven't already. Let's do that. And that. Trying to hear it. Sewer. You guys over here. Repair those. Destroy this. Build. I mean, it's only a large town. What are you playing at? What are you playing at, Antigonids? You are perpetually disappointing. Perpetually. Uh, perpetually. Yeah, up here. Problem is, like, that little sliver of land that we need to take in the east, over this way. Yeah, we still got to go down here and take... There's, like, five more settlements down here. Oh, finally, these guys are not rioting. 81%, though, is, is terrible. We're going to have to just get, like, every mercenary we can and try and make this place happy. All of these boys are all fantastic mercenaries as well. 
All amazing, amazing mercenaries. <laughs> but let us not disrespect the old Seleucid army, shall we? Zero percent. Wow. Not great. Not great. I mean, these mercenaries would be able to kill a lot of armies. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> that is some beastly. Oh, just 71 percent. Nice. Yes. Come on. We can keep this pace up. Absolutely pummel them. Marmalize them. Let's go. Oh, the Odrysians would be a, would have been a fantastic fun war for us to have done next. But sad times. It's got to end. It's got to end at some point, hasn't it? Oh, my God. We've got, an, we've got another army, definitely. <laughs> Hetairoi. Cataphract. Hetairoi. Uh, right, Ptolemies, we do need to kill you. I mean, we don't need these troops. <laughs> They're not even going to get there by the time we need them to, to get in the action, so... I don't really know what to do with that. <laughs> so, you guys... You're all sorted. You're sorted too. These guys have gone up there. You're going for this one now? I mean... Let's merge a few of the troops. Because we're not going to send this army back for retraining. So merge. Oh, God. And there's no mercenaries available. We've actually taken all the mercenaries. <laughs> oh, dear. I mean, it's still a pretty good army. I don't think we'll be able to auto-resolve this, though. Uh, maybe. Okay, we did. <laughs> Took the risk, and Zoilos delivered, didn't he? What a man. What a glorious man. I mean, the Antigonids have land even up here. Uh, problem is now, we can't actually leave this place. Hmm. Unless we just leave it undefended. And they're still happy enough. That's not too bad. So, this one's an Adrissian land. Our troops are just so OP, man. What the fuck? We are brutally, brutally OP. Brutally OP. Wow. Well, where... Where is that settlement? That's the question. Let's keep coming down. We need to do this siege. So we have got... On the recording, it's an hour already. Um, so maybe it will be about a two-hour episode. But we'll see. First of all, though, let's do this battle. Because I've been waiting to use this cataract army... <laughs> For so long. And let's fight it. Let's have a bit of fun, guys. So, I will see you there. Tonight, we will marmalize the enemy. They're going to be on this hill. Honestly, though, who can stop this army? Like, what, what sort of demon could stop this army? Like, the, the archers are just there for siege battles. Let's come down. I mean, their army, they have cat they have phalangites. I'm also going to walk my men, not run. Apart from the archers, the archers can run. Well, we don't want to get them tired. This is something that the, the poor Ptolemies have probably never seen before. And the Greeks on the mainland. An eastern style army in the hands of the Greeks. Glorious! If this is to be, you know, one of our last battles of the campaign. I'm going to be very happy because, like I say, I've been waiting a long time to get these boys in there. Let's keep coming. Right, the main thing is just to avoid the phalangites. What is that? Oh, they're horse archers. Like so, so, the thing is as well, the cataphracts scare nearby infantry, so they should just really just route infantry, like... really just route them. <laughs> Here they come, boys. Oh, dearie me. This is going to be brutal. I mean, honestly, I'm considering just going into the Libyan phalangites there. Right, just go through the middle of these, boys. Right, here we go. Let's see the cataphracts coming. Oh, here they come. Already routing. Already routing. Already routing. Wasn't the greatest charge either. Pretty bad charge, in fact. Keep coming just all the way through, my men. Are you shaken? They're still eager, intimidated by nearby enemy. 
We didn't, what was the point? We didn't need to do anything. There's no point even fighting this battle, man. Oh, dear me. <laughs> um, <laughs> we literally just touched everyone and then they died. <laughs> wow. Wow, 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 wow. It would be nice to have some light cavalry, honestly, to mop up the enemy because we've just marmalized them so badly. Poor guys. Let's get there. Right, speed that up. They're just so slow at chasing down people as well. Keep coming, men. Yeah, they, they all escaped, but that was brutal. <laughs> oh, dear. 33, and we killed 600. More than 20 times. Oh, just under 20 times. Uh, uh, oh, that, I feel like this army might be a little bit OP. I mean, the other armies are quite, are quite good, but they're balanced armies. This one is unbalanced as hell. Like, even Phalangites just melted before him. <laughs> Fantastic! Well, let's get back onto the campaign man map and see whether we can actually bring these guys into play somewhere else. Victory! This glorious army. Will you get there in time to take part in the rest of the fun? I'm not sure. But we shall see, shall we? Um, so, three armies there. Fourth army there. Fifth army up there. So, we moved all those boys. Let's have a look at Ekbatana. Oh, excuse me, guys. I am... Um, where are we? No, here. That should be Atropatine dead. The stain will be gone. The stain is gone! <laughs> another faction dead. Atropatine. And another faction we had a direct hand in destroying. Uh, like, probably most of these factions. And they still got a Seleucid recruitment here. Nice. <laughs> Thanks, guys, for that. Oh, my God. We've got so many buildings. We can't even retrain them all. <laughs> They're plenty happy, though. I don't know why they were rioting. I mean, all of this Armenian land has been so easy to take. And then suddenly, like, all this land over here has been horrible. Horrible <laughs> to keep hold of. I don't know. It's weird. You're there. Um, right. We've got those. Right. Ptolemy's guy. Have we moved you? This is the risky move, though. Let's go down this way, because I want to siege it from the back. And hope that they just can't reach us. Oh, they can still reach us. That's annoying. We don't have... Oh, we do have rioting in one place. Masaga. Oh. Yeah, obviously. <laughs> God damn. God damn you, Masaga. You're just going to have to, you know, leave. Uh, riot. Uh, rebel against us, and we shall destroy you. The Greek city-states are still... Sieging down that settlement. Not too bad. I would ideally like them not to fully siege it down, but I'm kind of banking on them leaving at some point. Let's have a look. What do they actually have in this army? I mean, it's just absolute trash, isn't it? I mean, one Akontistai is not going to be enough to do anything, but it's fine. Right, guys. Um, Shall we do a glorious siege of Pella? Which army do we want to do it with, though? These guys, probably. Five ladders should be enough. It says it's completely, you know, uh, in our favor. But it's Pella, guys. It is Pella. So let's let's do it. Let's, let's go and take Pella. This is a day for the history. Yes, it is. Tales of bravery that will be written in the blood of our foes. Yes, come on. It has been a long old journey, hasn't it, my friends? A long old journey. And we are finally at the gates of Pella. Ready to dominate them and take them for ourselves. Not the gates themselves, you know. That kind of ruined the moment there, didn't I? But anyway, <laughs> let's keep on going. And keep pushing, man. I I'm willing to keep going till two hours, you know. At least. Well, not at least. Two hours. <laughs> I don't mind going around the gate. They may try and defend the walls. If they do, what we shall do... Oh, I brought the other army in by AI. That's fine. They can kind of hoard in if they want. We will send one of the Agira speeders up if they are going to... Man the walls? They do man the walls slightly. What is that? Phoebe's? Don't mind. Right. 
Uh, you're going there. Let's go there then. Let's come forward slightly so the Ephibes are attacking the archers. Everywhere else is fine. You guys get up there. Right, let's speed it up. We've not had a siege battle for ages. And apparently this game's a siege fest. <laughs> so, yeah. That was sarcasm, by the way, guys. <laughs> If you're American and you don't understand what sarcasm is, that was sarcasm. I'm joking. I'm joking, Americans. I know you. I know you know what sarcasm is. Oh, we've just been screwed by the Ephibes. I'm not going to lie. I've absolutely fucked it here. You guys start firing, though. That'd be good. Back to go there. Oh, what's this? More Ephibes. I didn't realize there was going to be more. Right, if we can come all the way around. Let's get the gear of speeders over here. Right, back round to this way. In fact, get there. You can fire down on them. Got those boys there. Okay, they should be fighting them. Come on. Let's get you guys up here as well. You guys can get there. You guys should be firing. Oh, shredding these boys, Agimas. Right. All of you in place? Come on, guys. Hurry up. Hurry, your little legs. Come on. Speed up. Halt now. Should be able to fire on these. Where are you firing? It's a Phoebe's versus uh, Neocretans. Uh, let's go. Go attack them. And you boys. Yeah, you've come all the way around. Right. Go there. Try and fire at them. These guys keep firing. Now, what do we have left? They've got some Agima. Lyrian cavalry. Right, let's speed it up. Oh, we actually didn't select them to come in by the AI, so... They just stood there. But where the hell? Oh, there's some Ephibes there. Fire at them. That'll absolutely rinse them. Nice. Guys, keep on fighting. I want you to stop fighting. Kill them. <laughs> Who else do we have then? Have we taken the walls yet? The gate, should I say? No. Not really. Okay, they're all going to come down this way. That's good for us. Because we're just going to fire at them. They should start firing now. Good. You've killed them. Let's get there. I want to try and rinse that Agima. And then we can do everything else just with the cavalry, really. Well, we've got the, uh, the gates now, though. So let's go with these boys... And let's get the cavalry in. Get around this way. Get there. What's going on over here? Have we killed them all yet? We have. Good. All these boys. Let's get you down. Should be firing quite nicely. Let's get across. Lots of dead Ephibes. Good. Oh, here comes a, a load of cav. Cool. Oh, this is going to be a bit of a clusterfuck in the gate. <laughs> Come on, boys. <laughs> you can all make it. As long as we kill the Agima, that's all that matters, really. Poor Agima are getting absolutely shredded. What are these? All right, what are those? Come on, boys. Hurry up. Oh, the Agima are just getting absolutely ruined. Now they should get Javis thrown at them. You guys should all be on fire at will. Right, Chase. Uh, cavalry, let's go. One of you guys not able... Oh, you're firing backwards. If we can get there, that would be lovely. Simply lovely. Let's go. Okay, no. Looks like we're going to... Uh, with the Mercenary Illyrian Cavalry. Royal Peltas. Right then, let's keep on going then. Where is the cavalry going? That's where he's supposed to go. 
Right. Uh, in fact, let's go here. And then let's leave these three to deal with them. Go, 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 go. Kill them quick. Nice, good. And we should just shred whatever this is. I know it's Royal Peltas, but we're going to do use the javelins as much as we can. Come on, kill that Agima. He's not that strong, man. Right. Uh, well, apart from you, let's get here. Uh, get there. Get there. Uh, get anywhere. Apparently not. Okay, I don't know why it was not enjoying that. Now fire Javis, boys. Fire Javis. Don't charge. Oh, you're going to charge. That's fine. Doesn't really matter. We should shred them now. Uh, the Siege of Pella. Not that epic. And kind of a whimper. That has been the case with all of these factions. They have not gone out with a bang but a whimper. And that is mainly because we have just ruined them. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, no. All, like, quite a few of the early game factions did go out with a bang. Whoa, look at those eyes. Look at those lovely eyes. Look into my eyes. Look, not around the eyes. The eyes. Let's go. Gear of speed as. Charging them. Royal Peltas. Poor boys. A couple of these units did get pretty shredded in the in the process. But they can be uh, happy that they were the uh, the glorious. Yeah, we killed three times as many in a siege battle. Very nice. Neo Cretans, 211. Very good. Thank you, guys. 134 as well. Glorious. The Siege of Pella is done. Here we are. And Pella has fallen. And, of course, by tradition, as I finally munch the last remnants of two lovely tropical Skittles, let's enslave them. <laughs> um, right. <laughs> We can go straight for Thessalonica then. I think we'll use this army. I don't even think this army's damaged. Wow, oh, this army's just come back from retraining. Alketas the Butcher. Butchy Butcher. Let's get there. Let's. What are you, what are you stuck by, man? You should not be stuck by anything. Well, let's um, leave. <laughs> Do we have any mercenaries available now? Not time enough. To sit on the throne of Pella. Where is Diodotus, by the way? Diodotus? Oh. Chaos? Selefkos? Alketas? Zoilos? Oh, Diodotus in the north. Far north. Ah, oh, that would have been kind of cool if he'd led the siege on Pella and just sat there for a turn. Just to claim Alexander's throne. Uh, and wow, so Chonko Selkis has upgraded. Wow. Wow. Very interesting. Oh, very nice. Right. Hopefully you don't get stuck there forever. Yeah, that would be annoying. <laughs> but uh, let's leave Pellet. We don't need to be there anymore. We've, uh, we've uh, enjoyed our stay for about a day. And looks like they're happy enough because, you know, all these Greeks... They know that we are the true Alexandrian Empire now. And all the populations are just happy to be taken off the rule of such weak Greeks like the Antigonids. Um, so yeah, Bylazora. I was hoping we could get some mercenaries. Can we get mercenaries down here? We can actually. We can't move those boys now though. Uh, we could get mercenaries here so we will do that next turn uh if that army can move oh we can move now oh good <laughs> that was kind of weird um right let's send some mercenaries north and into pella that's the two things unfortunately very expensive and very good mercenaries again but oh well you're a bit slow aren't you, you can't go all the way up there uh and what is this what is the what is this unit? This is a Peloponnesian hoplite. Uh, all the way in the north of Greece. 
Uh, well, they're mercenaries. They do move around. So kind of appropriate for those guys to be in there. So let's get into the army. And those two are being sieged. You know, last episode we were saying how... Well, I was saying how this wasn't... You know, we weren't blitzing that well and that quickly. I think we can accept that this has been a blitz this episode. I think we can be happy with this blitz. <laughs> we were here, I believe, at the start of the episode. So how many have we taken? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10 settlements so far. It Just in Greece. That doesn't include Ekbatana. Or indeed this settlement over here. Bang. Gone. Forgot about that one. <laughs> well, you've been useful for something, army. Can we leave? Don't think we can blitz out here in the desert. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> Got a random settlement here that's not even connected to our lands. Um, let's risk it. I mean, this land doesn't mean anything to us. Pointless land, really. They got a, they got a, they got a port, but we're not going to be able to trade with um, this because it's rebel. Like I say, it doesn't matter about the guys in India. This, just, this is like the last big battle, really, for the Ptolemies to kill the Ptolemies. It'll be very annoying if we, <laughs> if we fail that one. But we got to try as much as we can, haven't we? And these armies, you know, they would be used to go and kill Epirus and Rome, but. <laughs> That is for another campaign, my friends. I mean, we are playing Epirus next, so we should get a good shot at Rome in that campaign, which would be glorious. Um, right, well, I think that's everything for this turn. Apart from building, which, let's be honest, we don't need to do that anymore, do we? So, let's just smash that. It might make some of our governors more corrupt, but, yeah, this, this save is not going to be... Available ever again. Um, right. Yeah. Wait, we took it. <laughs> oh! Ho, ho. Come on, the boys. Let's go. The Antigonids are dead. <laughs> oh, we have absolutely bullied them. I feel almost bad for them, you know. They have been absolutely bullied. Oh, oh, God. The poor guys. The poor guys. The poor, poor guys. I do still... How many turns left until that? Five turns. Ah, that's fine. We've got ages. Have they got any troops? No. This is a problem, though. This is going to be very upset. So let's exterminate. I know I don't normally exterminate. Right, let's get some mercenaries. Move everyone out. We do still want to connect the lands up here so we can say that we have, you know, restored the empire. Oh, there is mercenaries available. Not amazing ones, but... Elephants, I don't want to garrison a city with elephants. I'm not going to go that far. That's kind of nuts. <laughs> right, get you guys in. Probably going to be quite damaged in this settlement now we've exterminated it. Oh, they're actually quite happy. Good. Right. On to the next one. The problem with this is it's actually put go uh, put actual actual uh, garrisons in these settlements. Not, not good enough garrisons to really do anything about us, though. <laughs> Poor guys. <laughs> oh, dear me. Well, what a glorious, glorious campaign, I've got to say. And I'm kind of... You know, although the Siege of Pella wasn't the most epic siege you've ever seen in your life, it kind of feels right that that was the siege that we finished on. Um, unless there's any more battles to do, which I don't think there is. Um, but like I say, we've got, it. we've got to combine these. Oh, we can keep on going. Oh, wow. Keep on going. Is that wooden walls? No, that's actually stone walls. So Amphi Amphipolis. Let's try and get some mercenaries here as well. 
so left cost of the just. No mercenaries available. Well, let's leave the Judean. The Judean. The Judean uh, infantry. Fair play. They've come up, come from Judea all the way to Greece, almost like a Roman legion, and uh, they've done us a good job. So fair play. You can rest now and enjoy retirement, my friends. And uh, just a couple more settlements to go, and then we're done. So Heraclea sin. I didn't need to go all the way north then. Well, that's annoying, but it's fine. <laughs> it is wooden walls, though, so we should be able to just take it straight away. The score Disky are here. Great. Love seeing Celts on my borders. Wow, what are these boys? Wow, that is a... That, that, that's a uh, thumbnail. <laughs> Not thumbnail. <laughs> YouTube talk. Um, That is a unit card. Oh, they, they did nothing. Poor guys. <laughs> Poor guys. Poor guys. Um, let's get on low. Where do we want to go with Diodotus then? Probably back down this way to kind of, you know, uh, join up the land. Uh, yeah. I mean, we still got to do a couple of things. So we've got to take that and that. Oh, and this. <laughs> let's go for this then. And the Ptolemies. That's the main one. we got to kill the Ptolemies. <laughs> Here we go. Good. And can we leave then straight away? Because I would like to get to that city. Looks like we can. Don't even need to put a garrison in there. Good. We also need to check all these cities for buildings and stuff. Like I say, we're not going to build anything but like destroy the buildings, repair the buildings, whatever. So they don't rebel in the last couple of turns. <laughs> that would be very annoying. Uh, like I say, you guys, there's no uh, people around here that we can recruit. So, let's make sure we destroy that. Let's check all of these settlements because, like I say, they will not be very happy. Yep, yeah, that's good. This one's not. Let's repair. Let's build the roads as well, probably, as the first thing here. With the Judean swords spearmen, or whatever they're called, the Judean boys in there. Well, we should be able to leave Thessalonica. Well, we've got nowhere else to cap. We've got nowhere else to capture. Where else do we want to capture then? I mean, we could go up here. This is apparently all my territory, so I'm assuming that's the next settlement, Bessapara. Well, Diodotus, I think we can call your campaign in Greece quite a success, my friend. <laughs> And I think we can call this campaign in general quite a success. I've been, you know, very happy with it. And I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Like I say, comment down below your favorite moments, uh, favorite things from the campaign. Any things as well that you want improved for the next campaign? I'm always trying to improve the videos, improve my commentary, you know, everything like that. Make it better for you guys. Make it more entertaining. Um, and I appreciate it can be salty sometimes, but who doesn't love a bit of salt? Bit of seasoning on the old food. Uh, right, well, let's start walking down this way. Let's try and build a watchtower everywhere along the way so we can see where we're going. Watchtowers, guys, watchtowers. <laughs> Definitely don't want to be out there. That's get a. <laughs> What's this then? What the hell? Tylus has dental arte. <laughs> has dental what the hell, man? That's cursed. <laughs> that is cursed. Can we get across to it, though? We can. I mean, we don't necessarily need that land, like I say. But it's... We could get it. <laughs> so we need to take these three. We could also move these boys. Like I say, Alketas. You have earned a rest, Alketas, but... The relentless march of uh, of our armies continues. Um, <laughs> not that we really need to come and take this land, but, you know, <laughs> it's worth a little try, right? Wait, this settlement's very happy. Very happy. We're going to garrison this settlement with elephants, boys. <laughs> yes. No, we're not. We're going to keep the elephants. Why am I doing this? Keep the elephants. 
Garrison it with like an archer or these 21 high pastors. That's probably a better idea, Zach. Probably a better idea. <laughs> what an imbecile. <laughs> right. I mean, we could go for Byzantium. But I think I feel like we're done though. This feels we those three settlements, and this this feels complete, you know. But is anything ever complete without Byzantium? I don't know. I don't know. That's a good question. Do you know what? Let's take these boys. Because they're all very good units. And they should be OP on the auto resolve. They're all cav as well, so they Yes! Come on. So we just stop them taking that settlement. And we send you back to the Thracian settlement. 191 BC. And this is the Empire. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Yeah, uh, sorry, Cataphract Army. <laughs> Literally spent about 100 turns, buddy, training you, and you got to do one battle against some dog shit Ptolemies. <laughs> oh, I've never been so disappointed since Shrek 2. If anyone knows that reference, let me know. It's a sports reference, by the way. A commentator reference, should we say. Um, so, yeah. Uh, right. Good. Grudge holding slave. Oh, no. Got a suitable husband. 53. No thanks. And we got some people come of age. Aesis. Actually quite good. Get over, like... Well, we, we don't need to move them, do we? <laughs> Lysa Marcos. <laughs> over here as well. Uh, Isaura has now expanded. Cool. Where we can get the Isaurian Marauders in 0.6, which should be quite fun. And lots of civil disorder, though. This place, probably because it's not upgraded yet, and it's got a bit of squalor. And Masaga, of course, is just insanely upset. <laughs> oh, we've got one thing left to do, guys. The last battle. It's not Wheel of Time. It is the Seleucid Campaign in RTR Imperium Directive 0.5. The last battle coming to a screen near you very, very soon. Let us end the blood. Um, honestly, if they become a protectorate, they're part of our empire, right? And I don't mind giving up Lysomachia for them because oh, thanks. I feel like they'll have quite a few settlements. When I say quite a few, do I mean two? <laughs> Is that all they have? But what idiots! That's bollocks! <laughs> You bastards! <laughs> they literally they, they gave Protectorate status, took Lysomachia, then like <laughs> Uno reverse card. <laughs> what dickheads, man? Wait, we don't have people on here, no. Good. I was gonna say, have we forgotten about an army for like 20 turns? <laughs> oh hello, free peoples. What the hell? We are surrounded! Well, we're leaving the Empire at the right time, right? When everything's starting to crumble. <laughs> What? My lord, for battle. Why is there no hostilities between us? Was that because of the GCS? Loads of people died. Atalos. Artemitas. Oh, that actually isn't good. Sardis is not the happiest place. So let's get shrine to Taiki. Abantes, the builder. Let's get that in there. I can't help myself but doing campaign management, man. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. It's just a, uh, a single general, so he can never actually siege that down. So I don't think we'd have to worry about that if we carried on playing. Um, well, he can. He can siege it down if he waits outside forever. But I think we'd be able to get a little bit of an army together. And we're still recruiting more, 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 more troops. Uh, right. You, honestly, you are the biggest bastards, GCS. That is disgusting, what you have just done. And luckily, they don't have much. What is these? Oh, they're just weird Greek hoplites. Cool. Well, that's really a dick move. I'm not going to lie. That's honestly salted me quite a bit. Don't get salty, Zach. We're, we're, we're at the end. We're at the end. We don't need to get salty. Honestly, quite sad, really. This has been such a good campaign. I've really enjoyed it. Thought that was a defeat then. Then I would have got salty. This one might be a defeat. Okay, it's not. 
Well, taking all these settlements, Heraclea. Have we restored it? We need Lysomachia now. God damn it. I mean, we still need to kill the Ptolemies, so we need to end at least one turn. Again, and Cataphract army. Go and kill, like, some of the Greek city-states. <laughs> Just for a bit of fun. You should have a bit of fun fighting these boys. And, yeah, let's not drag this out too much longer, so let's stick that end turn again. Oh, yeah, we were, we were going there. Uh, I don't think we need that to restore Alexander's empire, but it's fine. Oh, hello. They're probably going to attack us. Like I said, it really doesn't matter. This army, this army is useless. Uh, right. Let's go. Well, Alcatas can keep moving. So keep going. Uh, and I think like. One more turn, two more turns, and we'll be we'll be well over the hill. We'll be done. We'll be good. Um, just we need to take out the Ptolemies, and I don't know why that gave us peace, but whatever the reason was, it's quite annoying. Must be because we protectorated the GCS and they're allied with them or some shit. But whatever it is, it's quite annoying. <laughs> right, Diodotus, you might as well attack the neutral faction. They're useless. Bang. On. Exterminate these boys because they would be pretty upset. Leave behind 183040. Probably is a good option. And still mega happy. And then we can probably take this little bit of Tylus as well. Maybe that's another another people destroyed? I don't know. <laughs> We've destroyed so many factions. <laughs> that's a very good unit what they've got there. The Celtic Heavy Swordsman. An actual Celtic AOR unit now in the game. Um, so, yeah. No, Tylus is still alive, and they've got a pretty fat full stack over there, so we'll wait in here. Uh, repair those. Get the shrine to Hera. They don't have their recruitment building there, actually. Looks like they've taken this quite recently, because they don't have any of their recruitment buildings or anything. It's good for us, though. Thessalonica, I'm surprised, like, Pella is still only a large city. Wow. The Antigones really just fucked themselves, didn't they? <laughs> the poor guys. Alliance in tatters with the Bosporans and war with Tylus. Really don't care. I mean, yes, Ptolemies are going to die. I, like, that's that's the main reason for us to exist right now. <laughs> One more turn, come on. Finally. A new... Oh! Do we fight this just for the bants? Like, it's... like. Just to go out on a bang, guys. Let's not go out on a whimper, the whimper of Pella. Let's go out on the bang of knowing that we killed the Ptolemies and we fully destroyed their faction. I'll see you on the battle map. On my order, my men. Oh, we don't need those rams, do we? Looks like they're just going to come straight out of the gates. Uh, let's get the fire at will on. Let's also stand in front of the rams because that'll force them to try and charge through the rams. These guys get there. And let's absolutely smash them. Let's not speed it up. Let's let's have some cinematics in here. Final battle. Honestly, I'm quite sad now. Oh, man. Arrows flailing. Here come the javelins. Glorious. Glorious. Charge them all. Right, let's uh, get off this and surround this guy. Speed it up now. Surround him. Let's get there. And let's go for the final charge of the glorious Seleucid campaign. The final hammer and anvil tactic that we're going to use in this campaign. Of course, we're going to use it a lot more. So let's watch this. Here come the Javis, boys. Oh, these units just look so beautiful, don't they? What a campaign it's been, guys. Absolutely glorious. We've out, we wiped out about 100 nations. We've had an absolute whale of a time. Let's go. Catch them if you can. Catch them. Do not let them escape. That's the general there. Kill them all. Kill the general, especially. Kill him. 
Right, while we're doing that, let's get a guy on the ramp so we can get through the city. What a campaign. Oh, it's been so epic. I have absolutely loved it. And thank you to all you guys for your support on this campaign. We've had epic intros. We've had great roleplay. Uh, we've had wars aplenty. Uh, intrigue aplenty. Betrayals aplenty. So many different things have happened in this campaign, haven't they? It has been absolutely glorious. And we've marmalized a lot of people as well. Oh, there we go. Get in. Right, you should go now to shoot them. You get there. And same with you. Kind of don't want the missile men to kill them. I want the melee men to kill them. With a javy throw. That'd be quite funny. But yeah, what a glorious campaign. In fact, no javies. No javies. No javies. No javies. We're going to charge him. Play normal speed. Here they come. The Seleucid boys. The final general of the Ptolemies. The final family member who can trace his line all the way back to Ptolemy. is going to fall. Look at those boys. Go on. Smash him. Come on, boys. He is going to fall. Kill him now. Kill him. Well, now, ho hopefully at, at some point. There we go. <laughs> Gods be praised. Gods be praised. And the final note goes to the Ptolemies out here hiding in the desert for quite a long time. We didn't even know they were there. <laughs> so glorious victory. I'm surprised that other army didn't attack us. I don't know why they didn't. I think the AI thought they would. But anyway, I'll see you back on the campaign map, guys. Here we are. And let's enslave as is tradition. And there go the Ptolemies. Yes. Oh, come on. No, we don't. We don't want to fight this. Clear victory. Come on, boys. <laughs> it's done. It's done. It's done. Okay, it's done. <laughs> this is coming up to the two hour mark now. We can't extend it any further. It is done. It has to be done now. Oh, and w what a message to end on, huh? What a message to end on. Glorious. 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 <laughs> oh, my days. What a campaign. So, we have restored Alexander's empire. From the far Indus, all the way to the throne of power in Pella. Wow. What a campaign, guys. What a campaign. So fun. Really enjoyed it. I love doing the intros as well and role-playing as some of these boys. We do need to do this one last thing. Tra take Lysa Markia back after they scammed us. That was literally a scam. <laughs> what? AI scam. So, uh, oh, they're going to walk past here anyway. Okay, well, we'll take, we'll, we'll, we'll siege it. <laughs> the AI did scam us there, but yes, what a campaign. All of Anatolia is ours, all the way up to the farthest Greek reaches of the world, which I believe Dioscorias is the furthest Heracles got. I, is this where he went for the Golden Fleece? I cannot remember, but... Oh, we've got this as well. Let's let's just do that so we take this back. Oh, they actually had an army outside. I, I didn't even realize that. Oh, well. Well, <laughs> it's ours anyway. So, glorious all the way from the far Indus. All the way. I didn't think we'd get there at some points, honestly. But now we are here. What a campaign it has been. How fun. Really fun, guys. And what I'm probably going to do, so you guys know, is a campaign review video that I'm going to record straight after this. Because this episode is so long. <laughs> I doubt many of you are still here, but thank you for those that are still here. Thank you for watching. Um, I'm going to do a campaign review video where we toggle the fog of war. Have a look around. I mean, we'll toggle the fog of war now just to um, just to show you how big we are compared to everyone else. <laughs> look at us. Look at us. We are glorious. We are monstrous. We are the Seleucids. Wow, we! What a campaign! I'm so glad. 
Oh, I'm so glad we chose the Seleucids. My favorite faction, and it did not disappoint. This mod is truly something else, guys, and I hope you have enjoyed this campaign as well. Wow, what an empire. Wowee. Let's, uh, let's take a screenshot of that. That's going on the Discord, boys. Let's also take a screenshot with the uh, cities on. There we go. There we go. Nice, nice, nice. Fantastic. All the way from the far Indus to Pella. We have a restored Alexander's Empire. And there is literally no one at this point that can even stand in our way. Not even the usurpers of our culture in Rome. Not even them, guys. Not even them. Uh, I mean, the Sirachis are pretty big, but it's all just wasteland. The Getai are fair play. They've done very well. Um, but yeah. What glorious. Carthage is just trash. As usual, it's Carthage. What do you expect? <laughs> I'm joking. Carthage stands. Uh, I do like Carthage. It's just, uh, yeah, their roster isn't very good in the mod at the minute. So I can't wait for that to get remastered. But, oh, what a campaign, guys. Well, it's sad to say... But we're going to say it for one final time. Comment down below your favorite moments, your favorite battles, campaign moments, intros, generals, commanders, kings, all that sort of thing. Wars, whatever you want to say. But thank you from the bottom of my heart. 50 episodes this has been going. Thank you so much for watching this, guys. It's genuinely my pleasure to bring these videos to you. So thank you very much for watching, guys. It's been a pleasure, as always. Please do like and subscribe. It really does help the channel out. And I will see you all again on the next video.